Welcome to a quick presentation on what to expect in U9 systems for 2022. So if you're looking at this subject we can assume that you are probably someone who has a bit of an interest in going into the mechanical or electronic trades in the future. You may also just be interested in seeing what it's all about so that you can learn for the future and decide on a, on a pathway later on. This might help you to go into year 10 and possibly senior systems technology. Uh, it's a very handy subject for anyone going to the automotive or electrical, electrical trades. If you like to make things, this is the place for you. You'll learn some of the concepts and principles you need to be able to make things, uh, how to go about it the right way so that you have some success. And if you can problem solve, this is the area for you. Uh, a lot of our concepts and principles are things you can't see. And so if you can problem solve, it's very handy. You need to be able to see things in your head. Last but not least, a challenge. Now, in Year 9 Systems, it's a semester long subject. So you'll come in and you'll get approximately 20 weeks of class. Um, if you've done previous technology classes, that will help, although it's not imperative that you've got those previous classes under your belt. But if you've got some skills already, we can develop those for further use. We're going to look at mechanical and electrical things and we're going to try and apply them in areas where you can actually use them. One of the important things is over the years um, we have negotiated with the class the actual practical tasks. So sometimes the class wants to do more mechanical, sometimes it wants to do more electrical. We'll determine that based on the students in the class. Things that we've done, we've repaired bikes, modified bikes, we've had a look at small engines, not that we do too much of that now, and we've done some electronics. And when we say electronics, we build kits, but we also make things from scratch, and we do some coding, so we do some robotic work as well. As part of the subject, we need to do a bit of investigation. Technology is made up of four stages, that's investigate, design, produce and evaluate. In the investigation task we will look at mechanical and electronic machines, how they work. We'll also look at things like sustainability of resources. So we need to look at if we're making something, are those materials going to be available to us in the future? Are they ethically uh, harvested? We'll look also at new technology because there's lots of new technology um, coming onto the scene all the time and it uh, makes a change in the way we make things, the materials we can use, it's a huge part of life. Then we have the design section and in design we could be doing things such as writing code or designing bits and pieces using something like Google SketchUp. Uh, we might also be doing some electronic simulation using a program called Yenka. So com sketching, computer aided drafting, electrical simulation and coding are all things that we could be doing during this class. Tasks that we've made, as I mentioned before, there could be things such as bicycle modifications or we could have things such as this electronic kit down in front of us which is uh, Codable, which means you can use some input sensors on it and you can then write a code for it to perform a function and output to uh, light or sound. Or we can develop it even further and make it drive some sort of robotic vehicle. And then finally, we need to do evaluation. And the evaluation revolves around trying the various pieces of um, machinery, electronics that we've created or modified and seeing if it's achieved the goals that we've set. So in these two pictures we've got students testing the bicycles they modified and down below we have a robotic vehicle that students uh, created and 
test it out to see whether it would climb over various items and whether they could control it. What will you need? If you're going to come to this class, first thing is you'll need to be willing to learn. That's the most important thing. You're also going to need books and writing materials. There is a bit of theory involved in the class. You will need a computer so that you can participate in the, in the drawing and the coding and the electronic simulation. You'll have to have your safety glasses for all of your production work along with your suitable footwear, which would normally be proper school shoes or boots. And you need to be ready for a challenge, as I said. And if you've got all that ready to go, you're going to have a great time in systems. If you have any further questions, please give me a message uh, in Zuno and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Hopefully, I will see you around. Bye, guys.